Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in this video, I am going to discuss what is the Spring Boot Stereotype Annotations. I already have two videos on my channel where I have discussed about the Spring Boot REST APIs annotations. What all annotations we use while developing the REST APIs in Spring Boot. I have discussed those things there. And I already have one video where I have discussed about the Spring Boot core annotations. So I have covered a lot of annotations that are commonly used in the Spring Boot. Here in this video, we are going to discuss what is the stereotype annotation in Spring Boot. So first of all, what is what do you mean by the term stereotype? So stereotype is nothing but it defines some particular work or some particular class of work. So let me go to the next uh, slide and then show you what is stereotype annotations. So stereotype annotations are set of specialized annotations that are used to indicate the role or the purpose of a particular component within the application. So let me brief about this. So let's say you are going to develop a Spring Boot CRUD project. Okay. And there you have uh, going to use the Spring MVC architecture to develop that project. So there you have different components like you have the repository, you have entity, you have service, you have controller. These are the different components that you segregate and use to create the application. So let's say you have created the repository component. Okay. And there you are writing the database logic. Similarly, you have created one class called service where you are writing the business logic and you have created one class called controller where you are writing all your APIs and exposing those APIs. So you have created your application. You have divided that application in different components and there you are writing those, your logics. Okay. So these annotations are just used to define a particular role or a purpose of a particular component. So let's say you are uh, developing the database logic in the repository class or interface, then at the rate repository annotation is used there. Similarly, if you are writing your business logic inside the service layer or service class, then at the rate service annotation is being used there. Similarly, for the controller at the rate controller annotation is used. So how we can use it and what is the purpose of those things? I will tell you in the next coming slides or I will also try to create one Spring Boot application and then show you those things practically. So let me try to read it out. So these annotations are used to mark a class interface or a methods as belonging to a particular category or a stereotype such as service repository or component. Okay. Now let me go to the next slide. What is its work? What does this stereotype annotation do? So these annotations are used to create spring beans automatically in the application context. So that those uh, beans are stored in the spring IOC and directly we can use it. So I will tell you how, uh, how like I will show you how you can use the spring context beans and internally the spring boot try to create the beans of those stereotype classes and we can uh, and uh, with the help of at the rate auto wire we can directly use those bins to carry out our work here i will try to show you uh, how it is creating our stereotype classes bins and how we can use it okay so at the rate component is the main stereotype annotations there are some stereotype meta annotations such as which are derived from the component so at the rate component is the main stereotype annotation. Okay. And at the rate service annotation is uh, just used for the service layer. Repository is used for the database layer and a controller is used for the controller layer. So let me go to the next slide. So the main main stereotype annotation is at the rate component. For the service, we have at the rate service annotation. Similarly, for the controller, we have at the rate controller. And for the database, we have at the rate repository annotations. So this is about uh, the presentation. Now I already have created one Spring Boot application and uh, this is the Spring Web application. Okay. Now let me try to create one uh, service controller and repository and then show you how it is working. Okay. 
so let me try to create one controller okay service and then a repository okay so we already have discussed that uh, let me try to go to the slide and then tell you so here you can see that these annotations are used to create spring beans automatically in the application context okay so these annotations when when a class is when a, when we are going to write uh, this annotation at any class then it will create the bean of that particular class automatically and assign that bean to the application context okay so let me try to show you how it is working so let me uh, one more thing i just want to tell you that this annotations are class level annotations okay so first of all let me try to go to the repository and create one let's say i'm going to create one class called uh, demo repo okay and uh, let me try to create one method here let's say uh, public string hello or repo something like that okay and it is doing nothing it is just simply returning the uh, this is repo class something like that okay and then simply return this okay similarly let me try to create <coughs> the controller and the service classes as well but uh, before doing that let me try to show you how at the rate repository annotation is working okay and how it is creating the bean of this class and assigning this mean to the application context so let me try to annotate this class with annotation called at the rate repository okay and uh, now this class is annotated with the annotation called at the rate repository so when we'll try to run this application the spring boot will try to create a bean of this class and assign that to the spring context so here let me go to the main class and you, here you can see let me try to create one variable con context okay and uh, with the help of that variable what we'll do we'll try to get the bean of that so get bean and which class bean we want to get we want to get the bean of the demo repo class okay and uh, with the help of that let me try to it will give us the bean of the or object of the demo repo class so let me try to catch it with the variable so let's say i'm going to create a demo repo variable here or object you can say and then with the help of this we're just going to call the hello repo method from the demo repo class and then simply uh, let me try to print this whole thing or let me try to catch it in a string because there is return type of the hello repo method is a string and let me try to print it out so str okay so what we did we created one repository class annotated that class with the at the rate repository so it will create the bean of this class and at assign it to the application context now coming to the main application we have created one variable called context and with the help of the context we are just getting the bean of the demo repo class and then uh, we are getting the ob object out of it which is created by the spring, co spring context and then with the help of that object uh, we are just going to uh, call the hello repo method which is inside the demo repo okay and just simply printing it so let me try to run this And let's see what is happening so here you can see we are able to see this log which is this is repo class which is coming from the method inside the demo repo which is hello repo okay so this is returning the this is repo class 
so similarly you can uh, create the controller as well okay so let me try to create one uh, let's say demo controller okay and add this let me try to create at the rate controller here and let me try to create one method just go to the demo repo let me try to copy this okay hello controller something like that okay and this is controller class so we have created this controller class annotated this class with at the rate and controller and then created one method called hello controller and this is simply returning a string this is controller class okay now let me go to the stereo let me go to the main application and then with the help of the context now let me try to get the bean of the controller class okay so let me try to demo controller okay so we are getting the bean of the controller class and uh, let me try to create one instance here of the demo controller and with the help of this we'll try to call the method inside the demo controller class okay and uh, method is hello controller and then simply let me try to print it out okay let me run this application and see so this is how you can see uh, how the so you can see these two logs this is a depo class which is coming from the demo repo class and this is controller class which is coming from the controller class okay here we are doing something wrong. okay let me try to do the println so it will print in the next line okay similarly you can go and create the service class as well and then uh, try to create some method and then see how the bean of the service class is created by the spring context and how we can use it so demo service something like that let me annotate this class with at the rate service and then let me create one method here public string uh, hello service and then let's say simply it is returning some string service class okay now similarly how you did for the controller and demo you can sorry controller and repo you can do it for the service as well so let me try to come down okay so demo service context dot get bean of service demo service dot class and now what we'll do we'll try to call the method inside this so let's say the string str2 demo service hello service and then simply print that str so copy this paste it out and just print it now let me run it and there after this I will tell you uh, that how you can see that this all the annotations are coming from the at the rate component or annotation which is the parent of it okay so you can see this all annotations are working fine now let me try to go to the controller and then let me try to remove this and let me annotate this class with at the rate component okay and it will work fine because at the rate controller is nothing but it is coming from the at the rate component stereotype annotations and at the rate controller is only used where we are just writing our uh, apis 
okay so it is meant for a particular class where you are writing some particular business logic okay so if you are writing the service logic then at the rate service annotation you can use if you are writing the apis you can use at the rate controller and if you are writing the database logic you, are, you can use at the rate repository so let me try to run it and then see so it will work fine it will be able to create the bean of this class and then you can see we are able to see this is controller class even we have removed the controller annotation here we are using at the red component let me try to go inside the component and then show you so you can see this component okay let me go back so let me try to annotate this with at the red controller and then let me try to go inside this and then show you so you can see this controller is a alias for component okay so it is coming from the component only now similarly you can go to the repository and you can see it is repository is also alias for the component so all these stereotype annotations are coming from the stereotype annotation at the rate component so let me also show you to the service so you can see service is also coming from the component so this is about the basic stereotype annotations if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks